Hi, my name is Mike Vigar. Welcome to my home in Plantation, Florida. This is my 265 gallon display behind me. And over to your right, there's a 60 gallon frag tank. And over to your left, there's an 80. I mainly collect SPS. And uh, welcome to my garden. So the tank started out as two piles of rocks with some small frags in there. And the center of the tank was just sand. So it's kind of like a lagoon. And then I put a clam in the middle, as you can see. And it just started to fill. So now it's just too packed. <laughs> the clam's three years old about. It started about three inches. It's probably about nine, I'd say now. Um, the majority of these corals all are a few years old. Uh, I don't buy colonies. I'm mainly 98% of them are just frags that I grew out. So a lot of them have been here a long time. Um, but yeah, uh, I'd say some of the softies are probably the oldest. Some of the birds nest. And that red monty actually was in the 125 gallon that I had four years ago. Um, for, now that I'm into SPS more, honestly, I would redo everything here. I'd probably get a reef savvy, but for now, I'm just going to let it grow crazy as it is. And uh, I kind of, I really enjoy the frag tanks a lot and the corals that are in there. This is kind of like the bread and butter stuff in here. But, you know, I just let this one kind of grow crazy. I don't, I don't touch the corals in here that much. Uh, I get a two-year-old that loves to feed the fish, and he knows the names of some of them. Of course, all the colors and everything, Dory and Nemo. Uh, we enjoy it. Like I tell most people, try to keep it like the ocean, you know? salinity. Like the alk's a little high due to the salt. It's about 9 to 10, but I try to keep the nutrients as low as possible. Phosphate, like 0.02. The uh, nitrates, 0.1. And uh, calcium's about 440. Just as natural as, you know, the ocean. We keep it simple. And uh, just, just keep up with the magnesiums, about 1,300. All right, so, yeah, I've got about 30 fish in the tank, so to keep the nutrients as low as possible, uh, I do a lot of water changes, uh, probably about eight to 10 gallons a day. It's about 400 gallons total. So, you know, that's very important with all the corals. I know the softies, they like a little higher nutrient, but I'm more into the SPS, and the softies do fine with the low nutrient system. I've got an automatic water change set up. It's a 265 gallon tank in the garage that automatically will pull, well, yeah, this will pull water in and out at the same time with a dual stenter pump. So I can show you that in a minute. Uh, that was a blessing actually, because I don't have to put buckets and pumps and all that crap around anymore. So that actually helped a big time with the tank, keeping everything stable as possible. So I used to do a 50 gallon water change like every, once a week or every other week. And now it just does, you know, 10 a day, so. The display, I've run all LEDs. These strips actually came from the 125 gallon, so they're six feet long, except for one of them that I added because I need more light. So, yeah, these LEDs are pretty efficient and uh, they've lasted years now, so. I'm running two WP60 power heads made by j -Bo. This is a SRO 3000 um, made by Reef Octopus. It's good for about 300 gallons, a little undersized, but it does the job. run a little bit of bio pellets. I also, this is for the nutrient level, the bio pellets, and I also have a refugium in the middle of the sump. There's 
there's also a review gym in the middle. I'm going to grow Chado for the most part. Whatever else finds its way in there. And also dose vinegar. So for the nutrients, we've got the skimmer, the bio pellets, the review gym. And I dose about 60 mLs of vinegar every day and also run two reactors of GFO. So between all that, I keep the nutrients pretty low. Dosing too far, just haven't had the courage to put the calcium reactor. This seems to work pretty flawless for three years straight, so no need to change it up if it's working. All I do is change uh, about a gallon and a half every six weeks. Thanks for visiting my tank. Again, my name is Mike Bigar. Hope you enjoyed watching everything.